so we're talking today about the lads mags and stuff like nuts and that at the moment it's got like half naked birds and that on the front and there's been talk in i think there's been some talk in parliament about it but there's definitely been talking like the the sales industry about either getting the magazines to change their covers or getting them to put their magazines in like these privacy bag things to stop kids having to see half naked women every time they go with their mum and dad to the supermarket so i think you and i are pretty much in agreement of our point of view it could be a bit controversial to well, it's kind of like the uh, the uh, cigarettes, isn't it? Where they're looking to cover up the branding to make it less appealing. But it's uh, whether or not we should uh, be subjecting kids to to this in the first place. Now, like naturally, back in like times tribal times, we'd be used to seeing like naked bodies and and stuff. So it's only like how we're conditioning our kids in the first place which makes it seem potentially uh, psychologically damaging to them to see these images are so as a practical solution in the in the way our our society is then like i think they might have to cover it up so like yeah i think we both agree that naturally a naked or a semi-naked bird isn't actually all that shocking it's just the way that we've been brought up now the way that society is making us think that a naked body is a shocking thing i suppose the over sexualization of the naked form instead of just seeing it as our natural skin that we inhabit like i know it's quite controversial because like I don't think my mum and that would like to see a naked bird on the picture of a ma- like on the front of a magazine in picture form, and I'm not sure like my nieces and nephews would be wanting to see that, and I don't know how my family would react. But as far as I'm concerned, providing you bring your kids up with a healthy respect for the human form, that they're not going to be looking at it in the sexualised context and and also now they're like desensitized like back in our day we would be i mean we watch stuff now like the the horror films and that which get rated like a 12 and and we're we can be kind of like quite shocked by yeah, some yeah. of the imaging but uh you know maybe maybe the, the the kids of today aren't so shocked i mean uh if we're talking of full-on porn mag then it's like I can understand that th- that might be might be shocking under any context. Like even in the tribal times, if if like a child walks into a tent and he sees mummy and daddy at it, then that's probably going to be shocking. Maybe I mean maybe to just see it as bonding. Yeah, like it's it's a completely different thing. I think the media at the moment is trying to combine our government's stance on pornography with this new little sensation of lads mags and covering them up like they're not turning around and telling the girls mags to get pictures of semi-naked male models out of them like some of the other magazines still have some pretty you know uh mildly explicit pictures on like and it's not just the lads mags what about all the gay mags and things like that they still got half naked blokes on but it's specifically targeted just at lads mags at the moment to me it just feels like some sort of media hype and it sounds like some form of targeted attack at the lads mag industry i don't know whether it was just it's not going along with what the current government wants men to be seen as where you found that news story it's probably the shareholders of people against 
lad mags trying to take it down well i find it quite hypocritical because i was reading that like the co-op the co-op have had these lads mags covered up they've had them in like little black plastic covers so that people can't see the front of the magazine you have to take it out to see it they've now turned around to the lads mag publishers and said you've got to put your magazine in this little privacy bag or we're going to stop selling it now to me that's a bit hypocritical sorry co-op but if you don't want to sell the magazine as it is as it appears how people want to buy it then don't sell it but the fact that you're going to still be making a profit off something which you're saying is ethically wrong that's a bit of a cheek well like is it is it co-op saying that it's ethically wrong though there's it's not really co-op is it they're just the um the place of purchase they're just trying to make really the co-op doesn't give a shit either way they're just, like obviously they're just out for 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 profit really let's be honest so they'd sell bloody smack to five-year-olds if they could like from what i know about the co-op they do react to their shareholders quite quickly it is uh one of the foremost supermarkets and that that jump on a trend straight away they were one of the first ones to do no testing on animals and stuff yeah but like people shareholders really number one priority is to get a return on investment yeah but it's a bit different with the co-op the shareholders are actually the people that walk in there and buy stuff as well it's not quite the same as walking into tesco is is there is this only in the co-op there to, is this all supermarket from, from what i can see at the moment it's particularly this particular article is about the co-op um i know that it's been in the the mainstream media a lot recently about all supermarkets um banning the front covers of these lads mags um it just seems right now that particularly the co-op has turned around to the publishers in order to um put them in a position where they have to play ball the way that the co-op wants them to